This band said that nothing lasts forever, even cold November rain. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the history of Guns N' Roses. Hard rock band Guns N' Roses formed in Los Angeles, California in 1985. The band went through a number of lineup changes before they were even signed to a label. However, the first constant Guns N' Roses lineup consisted of Axl Rose on vocals, Slash on guitar, Izzy Stradlin on rhythm guitar, Duff McKagan on bass, and Steve Adler on drums. While playing club shows, the band released an EP. They were soon picked up by Geffen Records, and it was with that label they released their debut, Appetite for Destruction, in 1987. However, the hard rock and heavy metal effort took off slowly. It only really started to gain momentum after months of touring and the release of the second single, Sweet Child of Mine, in 1988. This song became their first and only single to top the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Soon after this success, Appetite for Destruction reached the first position on the American charts. Later that year, the number two effort, GNR Lies, was released. Said, Woman, take it slow. Things will be just fine. As they got ready to work on their next project, Guns N' Roses underwent another lineup change. Keyboardist Dizzy Reed joined the band while Adler's drug problems resulted in his replacement by Matt Sorum. In 1991, the group released two albums simultaneously. Use Your Illusion 1 hit the second position and Use Your Illusion 2 hit the first position on the Billboard charts. Though still hard rock, the material on these releases contained more musical variety than their previous work, including epics and ballads. Blues, horns, and even country influences could also be found. The top three hit November Rain was the most popular single from these records. Guns N' Roses then went on the Use Your Illusion tour. Though this lengthy concert series was a commercial success, it was also marred by several incidents. This included Rose's unpredictable behavior, which sometimes provoked riots, and lineup changes such as Stradlin's departure and the hiring and eventual firing of guitarist Gilby Clark. Up next was 1993's The Spaghetti Incident. The punk covers album reached the fourth spot on the Billboard charts. However, tensions continued between band members, and this made recording new material a struggle. The band did manage to release some new work in the 90s in the form of contributions to movie soundtracks, like Interview with the Vampire and End of Days. The live compilation Live Era 87 to 93 dropped in 1999. The decade was also filled with many more member changes, such as the departures of Slash, Sorum, and McKagan. Notable additions included bassist Tommy Stinson, as well as guitarist Robin Fink and Buckethead. Rose was the only constant member through it all. The wait is over. After nine long years, they're back. Guns and Roses. The band began playing live shows again in the new millennium. However, touring was not always riot-free, and there was no new completed album in sight. Guns N' Roses then decided to go on a break. During this time, Geffen released a Greatest Hits compilation. Meanwhile, several Guns N' Roses demos were leaked on the internet. Rumors surfaced that these tracks were from their next album, which was to be titled Chinese Democracy. Yet recording, production, and release delays persisted, and personnel changes continued. In 2006, the band went back to playing shows and even performed new material. They spent the next year on album post-production. Chinese Democracy was finally released in 2008. The highly anticipated record premiered in the third position on the U.S. Billboard 200. The group spent the next few years touring in support of the record. 
Though they were criticized for their often wild and indifferent attitudes, substance abuse issues, and provocative lyrics, Guns N' Roses were able to find success. Thanks to their blend of heavy metal and hard rock, they sold over a hundred million albums and continue to influence other artists around the globe. <laughs>